Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. In this episode, we're going to talk about Alexa. But what is Alexa? Alexa is an artificial intelligent home system that can do a lot of things. Ordering products, playing music, and answering all your questions with an electronic voice. Wow! Alexa started earlier this year as a phone service. You may have seen it in our episode about Amazon. But this Alexa device is something totally different. It works without human phone operators and can do way more. For Alexa, you will need an IBM compatible PC with at least an Intel 8086 microprocessor, an available communication port, a telephone subscription, an Amazon Electronics Alexa set, which includes the Alexa communication cable, the Alexa installation diskette, an audio cassette, a telephone cable, and of course, the Alexa device. The Alexa is not the first artificial intelligence system. In the 1940s, Bell Labs developed the first computer that could answer simple questions. It was called the Redove. A scientist asked a Redove a question. Redove, do you believe in live after love? For a full fortnight, the Redove processes the speech and calculates an answer. After two weeks of waiting, now there's the moment we've all been waiting for. The Redove answers the question. So, Redove, do you believe in live after love? Now back to 1988. The company Amazon Electronics developed an affordable artificial intelligence system that you can connect to a computer at home. But how does it work? It's easy. First we need to install the device. Step 1. Plug the power cable of your Alexa into your wall outlet, close to your PC. Step 2. Plug the communication cable with the label COM1 into your Alexa and plug this into an available COM port of your computer. If you don't have a port available, you can buy a communication port card from your computer hardware store. Step 3. Connect your Alexa to your phone line with the provided cable. Step 4. Turn your PC on and turn the Alexa device on. When your computer is ready to use, run Setup on the provided diskette. Step 5. The software detects Alexa. Setting up is easy. Step 6. The software is done installing. Now we are going to reboot our computer with the keys Control Alt Delete. Step 7. The computer now starts up with the Alexa driver. I go to the directory of Alexa and open Alexa. Step 8. The first time you use Alexa, Alexa will call the network with the built-in modem, also known as modulator demodulator, and download files to make the system faster. This takes around 30 minutes, but you only have to do this the first time you use Alexa. Step 9 Radical! The software says it's ready to use! Look at those red lights! Wow! It's like Kit from Knight Rider! Step 10 Now the most exciting step! We're gonna test the functions of Alexa. Alexa understands human speech. If you say the name Alexa, it prompts Alexa to go into listening mode. When you hear a bleep, you can ask Alexa your question or give a command. <laughs> Let's try it. Alexa, can you tell me what time it is? Now Alexa is transferring my question to the computer via the communication cable. Now Alexa is preparing an answer. Hi. You asked me if I can tell you what time it is. Yes, I can tell you that. It's one of my functions. Oh, I guess I should ask in a different way? A 
Alexa, what time is it? Just so you know, Alexa isn't as fast as you see in this video. We edited out the processing times for your convenience. It depends. In what time zone do you reside? Pacific Daylight Time. Thank you. The Pacific Daylight Time is 7.32 p.m. Wow, checking the time has never been easier. I'll just ask Alexa. Alexa can also give you topical information, like weather reports or the news. Alexa, read the news. Alexa is now calling the computer network to download the news. After downloading and processing it, it will read the news. American astronauts return to space. Cape Canaveral, Florida. The Space Shuttle Discovery raced into orbit today, carrying five experienced astronauts. Liftoff came at 11.37 a.m., 38 minutes behind schedule. You can print the news as well. Wow. Alexa, print the news. Now you can read tomorrow's newspaper today. Isn't that amazing? Alexa also comes with pre-installed knowledge. It can answer many questions like, Alexa, do you know what the name of the doctor is in the first James Bond movie? Yes, no. Alexa also knows informal information, like jokes. Alexa, tell me a joke. What is the difference between a bucket filled with vomit? And you? I don't know. The bucket. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. This is my favorite Alexa function, the music function. I'll put a blank cassette in my Alexa and let's see if it works. Alexa, please record Prelude in E minor by Chopin. Alexa is now calling the phone number of Amazon Music and the cassette recorder will record the song. You may think, how is it possible to do this over the phone line? Good question. First, you need to know that an audio cassette has four tracks. Two tracks for the left and right speaker on side A, and two tracks for the left and right speaker on side B. Alexa uses all those tracks for one song. As you may have experienced, a phone distorts your voice. How is that possible? We'll tell you. This is a representation of music. As you can see, it has high and low sounds. Telephones have a band-limited channel. It passes audio that is limited to about 300 hertz to 3500 hertz, so you don't hear a lot of sounds, and that's why sound sounds different through the telephone. So it's technically not possible to send music through the phone, because music contains a lot of high sounds. Amazon Electronics found a solution to this problem. It first sends the high sounds of the requested music. But how? Very simple. The computer of Amazon converts the high sounds to low sounds so that your phone's band-limited channel can handle it. Your Alexa converts those low sounds back to high sounds and records them on one of the four tracks. After sending you the high sounds, the tape rewinds. Now Amazon Music plays the song again, but only the low sounds under 300 hertz. This time, they convert the low sounds into higher sounds so that your phone's band-limited channel can handle it. Your Alexa converts them back into lower sounds and records them on the second track of your tape. After sending the low sounds, the tape rewinds. Now Amazon sends the middle range sounds. Alexa records those on the third track of your tape. After playing the song, Alexa rewinds the tape again. But what about the fourth track? Amazon Music doesn't use that track for music. It stores digital information on it, like the name of the artist and the title of the music. This makes it possible to computer control the tape. Let's try it! Alexa, please play Prelude in E minor by Chopin. Sometimes Alexa can also give you subjective answers. Alexa, what is your favorite Japanese song? My favorite Japanese song is Plastic Love by Maria Takuchi. Alexa, 
Who is the hottest man of 1988? Paul Lukakis, known for the hit boom, boom, boom. Alexa, what is the most underestimated song of the decade? The most underestimated song of the decade is The Computer Did It by AG. You can also shop with Alexa. Enter your address and credit card information in the Alexa software application and you're ready to go. Alexa, please order two boxes of Mr. T cereal, a package of Giggles cookies, eight rolls of toilet paper, one sharp knife, gloves, two gallons of nitric acid, extra strong, a package of large plastic bags, and a shovel. Ordering two boxes of Mr. T cereal, a package of Giggles cookies, eight rolls of toilet paper, one sharp knife, gloves, two gallons of nitric acid, extra strong, a package of large plastic bags, and a shovel. You'll receive your order before Tuesday, October 4th, 1988. And Alexa can do way more. You can control several devices. Alexa, make a pot of coffee. Coffee maker activated. Alexa has way more functions. Let's show one more function. Alexa, set a timer for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, it's time. Alexa is right. It's time to end this episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. Now I'm going to download my favorite music using my Alexa device online.